Hey Phoenix, it's Poddington here with another episode of Phoenix Point. Don't quite have much of a plan for today, we're just off the back of finishing a mission, so I just need to get my troops um, fully healed. Both the Gift and the Thunderbird have um, squads which need to um, replenish their health. Um, don't believe I've got any soldiers to level up, nope. Um, we are kind of in a bit of an interesting position because we have some diplomacy missions that we can do. Uh, we have the objective to build our containment facility, which is going to take three days. Um, we also have some other um, missions to do with like the Symes sort of project. Um, but also we have some uh, timed missions, which is the one called Overrun. And we also have the Behemoth down here flying around. Uh, I was going to really kind of ignore it. Oh, this is an interesting one. This is called a Symes Memorial Base. I was going to ignore it, but as pointed out, um, the Behemoth can actually destroy Havens, which will completely destroy the population. So it's not really something that I can keep um, just by sort of lay it on its own. We are able to um, defeat it sometimes if like um, the other factions are able to take down uh, enough of the different things that we can do to get rid of it to create these disruption points but it might be that i need to move my interceptor that i have uh, that was doing trading missions try to uncover a way to get over to um the eastern side of this continent to intercept some of the flyers and uh, basically to force them back to the ocean uh we currently only have the three ships we have not yet unlocked the second free interceptor which is down here in south america uh, we need to get uh, sites of interest down here so we can begin to move down, which we've not yet been able to do. We need to get a satellite uplink for us to do that. So I'm going to advance time, first of all, just to try and uh, get my soldiers back to full health. And I think then I will consider what to do next. Research complete. Oh, okay, so we actually have some research completed. So this is the Synidrian Sky Defense Ops. The emergence of the behemoth and the aerial raids on human settlements immediately became Synidrian's number one concern. Despite their great discomfort in making decisions in haste, an ad hoc council had to be quickly elected, agree on a strategy, and set a course of action. Luckily, perhaps... Um, Luckily, petty debates and interpersonal conflicts among council members were kept to a minimum. After a thoughtful and productive conversation, the council agreed that the skies belong to all humans and protecting them is the only way to ensure prosperity. Some of the most talented engineers from across the globe were summoned and provided with extensive funding to equip Synidrian aircraft for combat. The sky defence ops amassed popularity in the matter of days and became celebrated as heroes of progress and defenders of humanity. So with this, we get the fire suppression system, which is a countermeasure. We get access to a Synidrian laser gun and also the incinerator bomb. But we do also have some new research available off the back of this. Okay, Synidrian's advanced hibernation pod technology allows soldiers to effectively rest and recuperate mid-air. Ooh, that's a good one. So that means that we can actually have soldiers around the globe, not necessarily near base that can heal them. It's a shared research. It doesn't actually research complete. have a time. Okay. Probably inspired by the advanced Pandoran egg evolutions, Syndrome researchers have been able to recreate the invigorating effects of stasis sleep in the form of hibernation pod chambers. Compact enough to be included in every type of aircraft, this miraculous invention allows personnel to fall in deep slumber for short durations of time while the onboard navigation AI is taking the aircraft to its destination. Some soldiers may have expressing preference for the pods over standard military beds, affectionately called, uh, calling the facility the blanket fort. Cool. I should be really happy with that. Um, that is the only new thing we've got to do. So at this moment in time, we'll just continue doing the new Jericho research, the gauze technology, and also the aircraft technology. New manufacturing, I am guess it's, yeah, fire suppression system. Um, let's have a look at... So we started with like the Nomad, so that's the Phoenix air-to-air, -air, and the Orochi, so that does 108 damage. That does 140 damage. 
just wondering. So oh, that's the An that's the Anu Rami module. Don't like the idea of that. Prometheus arm. Okay, so not bad. Cool down five seconds. So it looks like that Snidger laser gun is actually like a rapid fire gun if it can fire that quickly. Compared to the other two factions. But obviously that means it's also gonna be low damage. Okay, well I'm gonna leave that as it is. Let's um advance time a little bit. Alright, so the gift, the troops on the gift are now fully healed. The Thunderbird still looks pretty. These don't look like they've healed at all. Um actually don't even know what place this one is. Okay. Oh, the living quarters and it has a medical bay. There's no living quarters. I thought... Oh, it's a power issue. Is it? I don't know. Oh, okay. So that allows us to power things up and power things down. Um, I'm not sure why they're not healing. I'm going to have to send them back to main base if that's the case. Let's just do that anyway. And whilst we are doing this... Let's intercept us down here. So we can do... Uh, Look at these unexplored sites. Oh, he's got no one on board. He won't be able to do it. Okay, he'll send you back to base. And with the gift, shall I do this mission? Um, the overrun one. I don't want to keep my soldiers too idle. It would be quite good to explore some more sites, though. Plan. What's the plan here? Okay, I'm going to go over here and explore this one. Research complete. Okay, so this is the Gauss technology. Military grade coil, coil guns uh, that use electromagnetism for projectile acceleration. Had already, Actually, we read this before. Um, in one of the other videos, so I'm not going to read it here now, but the Gauss technology is now complete, which gives us access to the New Jericho handgun, the machine gun, and also the sniper rifle. Construction complete. Nice. That's good. Everything's starting to get finished off. Right, so the interceptor's back at base. I don't think I have any personnel for him. Do I Phoenix base? Just the scarab. I might recruit a soldier just to put on board. Um, recruit. Doesn't have to be anything in particular, like anything crazy. I might put this, I might get this one, Alejandro. Yeah, Alejandro. Okay, let's um, have a look at them here. Give him some armor. And now they're going to need a sniper rifle. Hundred and twenty effective range sixty three. Hundred and thirty effective range forty five. Okay. Ah, have I not researched this thing yet? Ah, okay. I don't have a sniper rifle for them. This thing that I want. We'll get the Firebird manufactured. I'll continue just exploring the site down here for now. Yeah, new new Jericho one. Any trade? Food for materials. That's useful. Or food for tech. I mean, it's useful for both of them, if I'm being honest. But we get the materials. And with that, let's move on to here. Oh, hang on a second. 
Well, one. Let's move back to base. Research complete. So this is now the new Jericho aircraft technology, the Thunderbird. So we can now manufacture those, which is awesome. And it says we actually have some new research. New Jericho Air Force Division. So this now must be the uh, different um, weapons for New Jericho as well, which is great. Tobias West has ordered the formation of New Jericho Air Force Division tasked with taking on the new airborne threat. It appears the program has been secretly in development for years and only now revealed to the public. Okay. So after this... Some of these weapons, kind of be neglecting those. I do you like the idea of this combat shield technology just because it means that we can slam down a shield? I... Hmm. I'm going to put that in now. If we need to move things out, we will. So we now have a, another intelligence report on different Pandorans, which is the Triton Footpad Alpha and the Triton Poacher. So the Foot Footpad Alpha, ooh, look at that thing. Dang, that looks good. Okay, so this is now um, being observed to use Synedrian ex uh, weapons exclusively. It's able to use any type of assault rifle, okay but chooses to use only the Synidrian tech. The specimen has advanced perception and regeneration uh, capabilities, and a second pair of arms for sucking blood out of its victims. Okay. And then the Triton Poacher. So this is, unlike other types of Tritons, its goal is to hunt down and capture humans. Equipped with a neural pistol and evolved paralyzing appendages, it is best to be avoided whenever possible. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, if I'm getting it, then... It only makes sense that they will. Alright, so unlocked another haven. So we've got food for tech. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll do it. So we haven't revealed any new unexplored sites down sort of this section south of the um, the gift. Personnel keeps flashing our oh, new recruits. Just another assaults. Okay, that's fine. And manufacturing. So this is the Cyclops. Oh, that's um, New Jericho sniper rifle. Okay, so we probably could have actually manufactured some of that stuff. Tis fine, tis fine. But I do have the snow profile now. So let's equip. And give you a pistol. Just to make you sort of complete. Cool. And then we will chuck this thing onto the interceptor. And with that, our interceptor can now go and explore. So I was thinking about just getting these little unexplored sites down here. And let's see what we can do with the gift. So. Shall we come down to into the South Africa? Or should I move more towards the east and then maybe we can intercept some of the different flyers yeah okay i'm gonna do this four days for that mission oh here we go so now new jericho the air force division is researched so while a ground warfare remains new jericho's preferred method of pandora destruction the faction have uh, invested heavily in an Air Force division. For the past few years, their own innovation team, partnered with a collective of external researchers, has reached great progress in perfecting air-to-air -air weaponry. 
extra light armor plating and arming a large Thunderburst squadron for aerial combat. In a publicly broadcast speech, Tobias West has expressed great satisfaction with the development of the Air Force program and announced a large military parade where he will personally test pilot a brand new Thunderbird pattern aircraft. So this comes with a railgun, a fury pod, and a defense module. Okay. Um, okay, I guess we shall continue. Alright, Thunderbird's back at base, so that's going to heal up. Alright, Starvation. So our operatives have discovered a new Jericho Haven. However, there is a disturbance going on. The soldiers are trapped in a central building, while the people outside are protesting. Apparently there is a food shortage. The leader of the Haven, Commander Evans, has made contact by radio and is asking us for supplies. I'm not asking for help fixing the problem. Uh, that's my responsibility, but with your help, we could get through this without anyone having to die. These people aren't evil. They aren't rebels. They're just hungry. That's fine. I can provide food. Uh, what should we, which one should we choose? I'll just give it to the, the commander, because if we give it to the commander, then he'll make he'll be like friendly with us so we can actually trade and stuff. The food drop causes chaos, but gradually the crowds disperse and our aircraft is able to land. The commander is very grateful and offers us resources in return. So we get 65 materials and we also got a Haven Leader Attitude Plus and New Jericho Attitude Plus as well. Okay, so um, diplomacy with New Jericho is currently blocked due to a mission that we have to do, which is, I believe, to do with a satellite, if I'm right. Uh, yeah, recapture. A satellite control base. It's actually where we're heading, so that's pretty good. Maybe we should do this mission. Ooh, okay, interceptor. That's a new Jericho base trade. Okay. Everyone wants food, and I've got plenty of it. Okay, so the Thunderbird is nearly back to full health. And now it is. Okay. Our uh, Phoenix base down here. Set up link still two days away. Alright, Thunderbird, you can come back and explore some of these sites over here. Our operatives have landed at a new Jericho affiliated haven called Fort wherever that is. Commander Marek, a former engineer, is very interested in our work. She asks many questions about the Phoenix project, including detailed specifications of our equipment. I'm just a geek about this stuff, she says. Sharing this kind of information uh, with New Jericho may be perceived as the beginning of an alliance by the other factions. Um, no, let's just do it. Whatever. Um, Commander Marek is impressed, offering the full support of their fort to our cause. She has ordered one of the finest soldiers to join our team, Paulina Taylor. Ooh, interesting. And we can choose where they're going to go. So, um, send them back just to Phoenix Point. Let's have a look at them, shall we? They come with New Jericho armor. They come with the Bulldog, which is the Eagle's Rifle, and we actually can get build armor for it now. Oh, uh, sorry, ammo. Can we, though? I can't remember. Is it, or are we just taking from the stores? Doesn't matter for now. Um, give them the shotgun, maybe, as well. Don't have any more pistols. Um, uh, 50 and 18, 60 and 14, 15 and 17, okay. I wonder if I should just build the new Jericho one. Nah, let's just do Cypher. Um, personnel. 
Definitely that. Okay, so what skills have they got? Uh, so they've got Biochemist, which does viral damage. That's pretty good for an assault because if they do six damage, I think they do six, um, six shots when they fire the assault rifle. So that's up to potentially six viral damage, which is really good. Quarterback, uh, so they can throw grenades better and get plus two to speed. And also just get even better with the assault rifle. Okay. Not a bad soldier at all. But you're just going to stay in the base for now and gain some experience. Uh, we need to wait for your pistol to be built anyway. And let us continue. Okay, so Intercept has found this haven. Okay, food for materials again. Go again, lots of materials at the moment. What's the gift doing? Uh, Thunderbird's moving. The gift is frozen. Oh, yeah, I didn't restart you. Did like, Ugh. let's move up here. Oh, that's uh, quite a big haven. Tech for materials. Tech for food. Okay. Okay, nice. Our operatives have discovered an abandoned Phoenix Project site, what appears to be no more than a small nondescript shack in fact leads to a heavily fortified underground nuclear bunker built in the 1940s. Here the Phoenix stored uh, sorry, here the project stored much of its older archival materials in addition to various oddities collected by its eccentric First Administrator Randolph Symes. Let's search this bunker. Sadly, a significant part of the archive seems to be destroyed by mold. However, a number of highly valuable documents have survived, including several compilations of the proceedings of the Phoenix Working Group, one of the Phoenix Project's predecessor organizations. These accounts of investigations conducted more than a century ago can give us new insights into how we approach our work today. So we get materials, tech, food. Ah, we also get some research points. Nice. Cool. And with that, we should now be able to move into the mission, phase one. Um, what I'm going to do, though, and so this is probably going to be mostly a mission of just exploring. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just avoid this for a moment because, as mentioned, I am trying to make my videos about 30 minutes long just to make them a bit more um, accessible for people. So um, if I start this mission, that would definitely run me over. I don't want to start the mission sort of halfway through or stop it halfway through. So I'm just going to go down and research, uh, explore this site down here. Research complete. Okay, so now we've re uh, reverse engineered this Nidrian laser sniper rifle. That's amazing. Well, it doesn't mean we now need to find something new to research. Escape pods, flares, blast resistance technology. Guess we'll start the uh, bio bionic technology. Yeah, let's do it. Research complete. And now we've also got the reverse engineering of the Marduk Fist. That's great. So we actually can now manufacture melee weapons. Wow. Okay, that's actually really good. It's now three days to the overrun mission. And containment facility is one day in eight hours. Okay. Okay, so our operatives land near a cluster of vehicles. There's a group of refugees here, perhaps 20 or more. Their leader, a woman called Amma Erin, is cautious at first, but then greets our team with respect. Are you people with Asai Thompson? He came through here a few days back, showed up at just the right time to help all these people, said he'd send someone to repair our vehicles. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do it anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll repair the vehicles. There's only 15. Are you sure he didn't send you? Erin asks. Well, then we just got extra lucky, I suppose. Life is funny sometimes. 
One moment everything's going wrong, the next you run into several heroes on the same day. Here you can have some of our supplies. Thompson left us more than we need. That gives us more food. Which I'm perfectly fine with, considering um, we actually have a lot of food. Well, we used a lot of food for trade, so getting a little bit back is always good. Okay, so I'm going to uh, move down to here to this unexplored site. And everything is looking good. Thunderbird. Oh, actually, there's a re unexplored site here. Let's change what the Thunderbird was going to do. Oops. Uh, Interceptor Explore. And the gift. It's found a new Jericho Haven. Food for materials. Yunk. move here. Our operatives in the Thunderbird 2 have discovered what looks like an abandoned town. It actually isn't a town at all. The roads are too perfect, the houses too empty. According to the archives, this was a test site for automated vehicles. There's some parts here that we could use, so I've got some tech and materials. Nice. And we now want to move down. Satellite uplink in 15 hours, containment 23 hours, research of the combat shield in 4 hours, and overrun is in 3 days. Okay, let's move to there. Let's have a look. So that exploration site with the magnifying glasses, I've got to do those as well. At Fort Travis, a nurse alerts our operatives to the presence of Colonel Budahas, whose investigation into the secrets of the US government have uh, we had funded. He is in the infirmary, dehydrated and delirious. He clutches a black bulletproof briefcase and refuses to give it to anyone except a Phoenix Project operative. You don't know what I had to do to get my hands on this, he says, his whole body shaking. The things I've seen, my mind... I'll never be the same again, but it's here. It's right here, the truth. You just have to open it. The briefcase contains documents that prove conclusively that the CIA, a pre-war intelligence organization, had a, div had a division dedicated not only to investigating unusual phenomena, but to actively sabotaging the Phoenix Project. The files compiled by an individual known only as Operative 11 show that General Newton Sumrall was deliberately undermined by this group. The briefcase also contained the true results of the Phoenix Project studies that were deliberately distorted by a double agent. So New Jericho likes us more and we get some research, which is great. And finally, let's get this one down here. Research complete. Right, so now we've got the combat shield. Great. So um, it's only, only one handed, so we could carry like a pistol and the combat shield. Um, trying to think of other scenarios. I mean, it might be a case we can still just carry it, whack it down. Oh yeah, that, I guess that would actually be quite good, actually. Yeah, shoot, whack it down, maybe. I don't know. Depends on the action point use. The combat shield is based on the latest carbon fiber fabrication techniques, providing a light, extremely tough shield. In situations where cover is sparse or weak, this shield will allow our soldiers to roam across the battlefield. Yeah, that does sound really cool. I really like that. And we are researching basic bonus. Yeah, okay, let's carry on. A new Jericho Haven is under attack. All right. So now we've got a new Jericho Haven under attack. And we are also near our, uh, well, the mission that we was going to do, which is to capture a satellite control base. Just seen as well that the um, satellite uplinks that we've got are now extending out where they've been built. We haven't done this one over here yet, but that is going to be done in 12 hours. And this is going to be a place to stop. So um, sorry that there wasn't actually any tactical side in this one. Mostly just unexploring, uh, doing research. Really just sort of kind of like progressing story and lore, which I think is really good. Um, obviously focusing on just the tactical side of things is only one half of the game. So um, yes, I think this has actually been a really interesting episode. 
but um, I will um, choose probably to do the Haven mission next, just because there's a bit more of urgency with this, and um, the actual uh, Haven leader is a friend of ours, so it would be good to actually get that one done. So I'm going to leave this one here, so thank you for joining me today, and please like and subscribe and leave comments below, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye!